Okay, today I am doing an extreme flush on uh, my engine, but this applied to all the cars because they pretty much designed similar. If you look at the picture, uh, at number one, that's where the radiator is coming out, and then it will go through the engine, it will circ circulate through the engine, then it goes to where the big circle is, that's where the thermostat is, that's number three. And then it come out to the top hose, which is number two, right there with the arrow. So that's all you have to remember. Um, you would take number one hose out at the end there in the video, you would see it, and number two at the hose the same way. At number three, there's a thermostat. You have to take that out and use the gasket because. There is a thermostat in there that won't open. So, because the temperature has to reach about 195. Uh, some vehicle they put 180, but an average uh, car is 195. Until, until the temperature reached 195, then your water would flow through there. And then go to the radiator. The radiator will cool down, it'll go back to number one again, circulate through the engine again, and then it'll go back up to the thermostat. If that thermostat is blocked, then it'll keep circulating until it reaches the temperature. Then it opens back up and it'll go up to number two. Uh, and the cycle continues. Well, in this case, I am actually doing backward, but like I said, look at number three. You have to take the thermostat out, which I will show you in the next video. Uh, you just need the gasket, that's it. But if you want to do a complete, that's what you would do. You don't have to take the radiator out like I did. You can just take the hose number one and hose number two out and do the same thing as I did. And on your radiator there, stick your, see where it says number two? Stick your, um, like, uh, water there and let it run freely until it escaped to number one on the bottom there. Water will escape until it's, you see it clear. That way you know that your radiator, uh, your radiator is being flush as well. Anyway, um, to put it back, make sure all the water, uh, you can try to get as much water as you, out as you could. Uh, but I advise you to put, um, they always advise you to put the right coolant. Make sure to check your coolant for your uh, car. And if you have to put water, they want you to put distal water. Distal water won't corrode it, the, um, all the metal inside, uh, like a, the aluminum inside your radiator that causes blockage and stuff because calcium will build up. So it is best to put uh, distal water in there. Don't put straight water in there, although a lot of people do it. But uh, it's depend on you, uh, on you. That's up to you on that one. All right, so let's get to the video. Okay, today we're actually going to do an extreme cleaning. And you're going to need to, what you're going to need to do, this is going to be funny, but effective. Um, you're going to remove your heater uh, thermostat. And since this is blocked, I have the thermostat bypass in my other video. But this is uh, a normal thermostat and this is blocked. So you won't be able to clean the air. Uh, extreme do the extreme flush correctly so you just need the gasket because the gasket has to sit on top of there right there and it makes like a, a sealed and what you do is when you remove the two bolts from there you would have to uh, put this back here that's your um, exhaust um, not exhaust exhaust but the uh, water uh, exhaust I call it but uh, I don't know what's the term for it but anyway um, so I'm gonna put that back and the idea is to put the water from here go through the engine flood the engine up and then exit out to here that's gonna be a complete flush um, I've never seen people done it this way I'm going to stick a hose in it, and then I'm going to uh, hose it all up until it's filled up. I'm going to block this up with my hand, 
and then I'll let it circulate a little bit and then I'll let go until it flows out uh, but that's the idea I'm gonna pause this so I can go to the next um, okay now continue on so I put it back I put the gasket on and I put the two bolts on now it's all good to go so I'm gonna leave this up a little bit so I can trap some of the water in there and then I hook the holes through here so now I'm gonna put some water in there sorry holding the camera and doing things not too good now you can see it's going in the water's going in and it's coming out of the engine right there I'm gonna leave it for a little while until it's really clear and that's why I call this is the extreme version of flushing the engine so I'm gonna leave it for a little while and let it escape all the water escape I guess but I want it to be like flow flow and it's pretty clear right now but I want it to be even more clear so trap it and let go and circulate a little bit Now it's doing really good. Look how clear that water is. I don't think you're never going to see me doing this again. But that's how you do it. Just trap it in there. Force the water in there. And you can actually spin this too. If you have it off. If you have your belt off. I would get the belt off and circulate the air a little bit. So you can see how the water flowing if I spin it watch see how the water is going a lot now so you can actually trap this into it overflow and let go really fast you see that I trapped it to overflow and let go really fast and see what the water is doing which is flushing through and look how nice and clear this now so trap it a little bit more and now it's flushing backward. See? And I'll let go really fast. So all the water's out. But I guess this is what you would call extreme flushing. This is the only way to do it if you want to flush your engine while it's like the engine's already open already. Most of it. And see how nice and water that water's clear is. Look how clear that water is. And it's not flowing this way. So, and if you want to block it, do the same thing again until it's the overflow. And let go really fast. Or you can spin this. <laughs> and look at the difference if when I spin it. Sorry, the camera's shaking because. I'm holding this while doing this, but that's how it is. And this is like, I would say this is extreme flush. Anyway, I'm going to end the video. So now you know how to do it. Just use that part right there and go through the thing. But remember, you have to take the thermostat out because that opens a normal and average. It opens at 195 degree. This water is no way 195 degrees, so if you put this in, it's just going to come right through here. But as of right now, since it's all open, um, you can just flow that easily. And now it's just going backward over here. You can actually go from this end if you want. You would have to block it to force it out from this end. That's what I would do next, but I don't have to film that one. You guys can figure that one out.